Dale Ockles and his brothers, Dennis and Gary, grow corn, soybeans, and wheat on a nearly 4,000-acre farm their father, Reuben, started in the 1940s. Ockles Farm is in Milton, Delaware, and the light, sandy soil makes regular irrigation a necessity for a good yield. Five years ago, Dale Ockles tried rivulus T-tape on an odd-shaped field where his central pivot system could not work. Primarily, and for years, we were pivot irrigation. Uh, it worked well, it still works well, and, and that's what we did. As we have increased that pivot irrigation setup, we've discovered that we've got a lot of ground that pivots don't work on, uh, that is ideal for us to go with uh, drip tape. Uh, what we've experienced with that is, is that the tape has been a beautiful addition to the pivots that we use because all those odd corners or odd fields on their own small fields, any place you can't do the pivot, can't do what you wanted to do, then you can go in with these tape systems uh, and, and make that work really well. Because Dale had never worked with drip tape, he started small and relied on a local dealer, Vincent Farms, for advice. Our first big step into tape irrigation was a 28 acre piece um, there just were not many farmers around here that we could talk to about it and see what their experiences had been, so we went into it in a real small way. As we started uh, researching drip tape, we discovered we had a local dealer, some folks that we knew and, and knew fairly well, and uh, we went to them. It was Vincent Farms, and uh, they had a fellow that was uh, working just with drip tape and that's, uh, that's, where we, that's where we found our expertise. As we talked with Vincent Farms and, and the people there, trying to find out, because there's a lot of different product out there, uh, they recommended we go with T-Tape and a setup that they were using, and, uh, and that's what we've done, and it's worked well. Dale was pleased with the results in that first field and has installed more drip tape since then. The first system that we put in, that 20, 28 acres, uh, has been in for five years and, uh, and is, we've had great experience with it. Since then we've put in more systems and our T-tape systems are doing just as well. Uh, we've lost no yield, not, uh, we just, we like them, they're doing just as good as our pivots do. Our, our T-tape systems have taken uh, corners that we were lucky to get a hundred bushels of corn all from and we can grow 200 plus without any issues at all. Dale and his brothers plan to continue installing T-tape to increase yields in areas where pivots can't reach. He sees it as a good investment. In the smaller fields, drip tape is, is a better investment, a cheaper investment per acre because we get all the acres. If you do that with a pivot, you're, gonna, you're just not gonna catch all your acres. So um, it, it's, it's a good deal on the, for us on the smaller and the odd shapes as far as an investment. It's just been surprising to us how well they do on yield and, and uh, what it does in the field. We've still got a lot of corners, and a lot of small fields, odd shaped fields, and uh, we intend to keep plugging along and we're gonna keep putting them in. You go to the bank, talk irrigation, and they're ready to go with you because there's a return on irrigation. And so we're, we're putting more T-tape systems in.